I'll be showing five new features in PowerPoint. This includes the dramatically updated slide recording with audio and video narration, the incredible new PowerPoint cameo feature with live video embeds, and inclusive accessible updates and lots more. So let's get started. The first new feature is major updates for slide recording in PowerPoint. This has gotten some big updates recently and is part of Office 365. I'm in PowerPoint desktop right here, and in the upper right, there is now a record button. If I click this, I'm here in the new slide recording view of PowerPoint. The first change you'll see is I have now a teleprompter mode. So if I'm recording, I can have this teleprompter right here so I can look at the camera and not have to look over to the side or somewhere else. To click on the little A button here with the up arrow makes the text a bit bigger, or I can make it smaller. So now, for example, if I'm presenting, I can start reading from my teleprompter view. Hi everyone, I'm going to talk to you about how the scientists launched the satellites to explore the solar system. And you can scroll down while you're reading as well, just like a teleprompter. I can also change the view to the classic notes on the side. So down here, I click views and I can choose presenter view. And that has the notes over on the side. And the next slide there has a little bit, if I'm looking in this direction, it's not as nice as teleprompter, but you can also see the upcoming slides. So if you have lots of slides, that's good to see what's coming up next. I can click view and just choose standard slide view. And this is one where there's nothing on the side and I can just record my screen. What's also nice is I can blur my background now. So I'm gonna drop this little button here and choose blur background. Hey, now my background is blurred, kinda like in Microsoft Teams. Next up, I'm gonna show how to start the recording itself. Now, before I start recording, I'm gonna put this into teleprompter mode so I can get a little help reading my slides because I'm a slide reader. We'll go into views and choose teleprompter. Okay, now I'm ready to record. If you need to make sure your camera is set right, hit the three dot menu. You can change microphone, or you can change cameras right here, but I'm all ready to go, so I'm gonna hit record. Get a little countdown. Hi everyone, today I'm going to talk to you about how the scientists launched the satellites to explore the solar system we all live in. What I'm gonna do next is just do a little demo. I'm gonna click on the red, and I'm gonna circle right around this big old planet called Jupiter, and we'll go to the next slide. This is the first exploration we did with the five planets. There's my little teleprompter view. I can also do things like click on a laser pointer. So I can move here and say, hey, here is Saturn, there's Uranus, and there's Neptune. So that's really nice to have that laser pointer. And you can also do things like the highlighter. So maybe I wanna do some highlighting right on top of Jupiter like that, makes it really easy. Now I'm all done with my presentation. I'm gonna go up here and click stop recording. Now I can go back and watch what that looked like. So I'm gonna turn off teleprompter view and go to slide view here. And now I'm gonna go down to the lower left and hit play. This is the first exploration we did with the five planets. There's my little teleprompter view. I can also do things like click on a laser pointer. So now so you I can, can see all the things that I was recording come through right there on this slide recording. Now when I'm done and I'm ready to export this, I can go up here and choose export. And there's a whole new dialogue to make it really easy to export your video. I'm gonna call this the solar system. It's gonna be an MP4 by default. I can customize the export, so go into here and I can change it if I wanna change full HD or 4K or 720p. But in this case, I'm gonna go back and I'm just gonna to choose to export the video. Okay, now my video is done, let's check it out. I'm going to talk to you about how the scientists hey, launched the Hey, there is a nice MP4 video that I made right in PowerPoint. Now to go back into your slide recording area, just go hit record again. And if you want to clear out something, maybe you made a mistake or you want to do it again, very easy to go to the three dot menu. You can clear out the recordings on the current slide, or you can say clear out them on all slides. So maybe I want to clear them all out, hit this. Okay, it's wiped everything. Now I'm ready to start recording again. Now to leave this, you just go to edit. And now I'm back into my solar system PowerPoint deck. I'll be showing you how to use PowerPoint Cameo, a brand new feature that lets you insert live video feeds directly into your presentation like you're seeing here. This can be used in regular PowerPoints, you can share on Teams, or even in Zoom. I'm here in PowerPoint and I have my Inatech deck. For those that are Office Space fans, this will be inspired by Bill Lumberg and Inatech giving a strategy update. Now I wanna make my presentation more engaging with live video feeds and that's what Cameo lets me do. So I'm gonna to go to the second slide, and PowerPoint Designer helped me make this slide, but I wanna make it a little more engaging when I'm presenting. And the most important part is the who will save us. So I will go to the insert menu in PowerPoint, 
and over on the right hand side, you're gonna see Cameo. And it inserts it right here in the lower right. Now by default, the video feed is off. What I'm gonna do is click this to engage it, and now I've got a live video feed right in my PowerPoint. Now when you have this Cameo, you're gonna see this contextual menu appears for camera. So I'm gonna click this, and now I have all these different options to make my video formatted the way that I want. So for example, I could make it into a circle, I could make it into a hexagon or a diamond. What's nice is I can also move this around the page. So I'm gonna make it a circle here, but now I'm gonna move my video right up here on top. And so now when I'm doing my presentation, I can be the person who's going to save us because I'm Bill Lumberg and I'm amazing. Now what you can also do is do things like bring it forward, bring it backwards, all these same options that you get in PowerPoint. You can also give things like borders and effects and I'll show those in just a second. The other nice thing is, is you have multiple cameras over here on preview. I'll drop this down and you can see that I have both a surface and a different camera. So I could switch to a different camera angle or swap out. I'm gonna leave it right now on my surface, but if you have multiple cameras, that can be changed too. Now on the next slide, what I wanna do is go here, and this is the answer to all of our problems. And of course, it is the new TPS report cover sheets. I'm gonna add another Cameo embed right here. So I'm gonna to go to the insert menu, and I will choose Cameo again. There is my little Cameo window in the bottom. Now I can move this up. This time I'm gonna change the camera shape with even more options. So I'm gonna drop this and you have a whole bunch of great options to choose for shapes. Now the one that is most important to Bill Lumberg because he's amazing is a star. So let's choose a star. Okay, now I'm a little star here. I'm gonna size it. And I'm gonna make it right here, make it a little bit bigger. There, that's looking good. You can even give it a border. Because a star is golden, we'll give it a border. And then for camera effects, you have all these different options, shadow, reflection, even a glow. And I am a glowing star, so let's make it like this. That looks pretty good. The last thing I'll show is animations. So I click here and I'm gonna go add an animation. So I can treat this just like an object in PowerPoint. So we'll drop this down. And hey, let's do a fly in star. Look at that, that's pretty amazing. Now what I'll do is go and start my slideshow and let's see how this goes. We'll go from the beginning. Hello, board members of Initech. I'm here to give you a strategy update. Uh, we have sort of a problem here. Profits are down, meetings are up. Who will save us? He's on camera right now. Let's go to the next slide. Behold, the new TPS report cover sheets. And who is the person who designed these? Me, because I'm a star. Check out those TPS reports. Jazz hands. The last thing I'll show is designer integration with Cameo. I have a set of next steps here and a couple of bullet points, but I wanna make it more interesting. Click on insert, add Cameo, and there's my camera. You'll see on the right hand side, this pane opens up and you have some ideas that designer has generated. So I can click on this one, that one's okay. Oh here, now my video's a little bit bigger and next steps are on the right. So you have a bunch of different options you can explore. And if I close this and I wanna come back later, just go to the Home tab and then click on Design Ideas and that will generate a bunch of ideas for you. The third new feature is the ability to lock objects on a PowerPoint slide. So I've got my four little squares here and sometimes when you're moving around and trying to add text, you start to drag stuff around and inadvertently clicking around, just like that. So now what I can do is I'm gonna select all four right click on the objects and then choose lock. This locks them right to the background. So now I can't accidentally drag and do something, but I can still add text. So maybe I'm gonna type here and go away. And now when I come back, I don't inadvertently drag this thing all over the place. I can go over here and type whatever I want. And when I'm done, if I wanna unlock them, I can right click and choose unlock. This works on any image in PowerPoint or any object. So I can right click on my TPS report and choose lock. Right click on my little cameo star and choose lock. Now these are locked into position as well. The fourth new feature is a brand new accessibility tab to make your presentations more accessible. So normally I could go to the review tab here in PowerPoint and choose check accessibility and it would pull up a pane. Now I'm gonna click this and you see the accessibility pane, but there's a brand new accessibility tab that pulls all the useful accessibility features in one place, which is really helpful. Now over here, I can see the different errors. So maybe first I'm gonna fix slide title. I click on here, it takes me to this slide and right here on slide title, now instead of having to go back in a PowerPoint, I can stay in here in the accessibility tab and I'll add a title slide. 
These are my lock boxes. Now there's another missing slide title here. Now sometimes you wanna have a hidden slide title. So I don't wanna have a title over my video. We'll go to the accessibility tab and drop down slide title. I can add hidden slide title. Now personally, I always had a tricky time finding these in the past and now it's right here. So we'll add a hidden slide title, Mike's video demo. And now this is more accessible for people looking at the deck. The next one, it says insert captions for audio and video. So I've got my video here. If I click on it, the insert captions is right here. So if I want to insert captions that I've got from a VTT file, I just click here and I could pull my captions right here and upload them. We've also exposed captions and subtitles. So if I want to always use subtitles, I can even change the language of those. They want to be English, if they want to be French or many, many other languages we have that is brought together in this same accessibility tab. Even the reading order pane, if I go here, I can open the reading order pane here, and now I've got all my little objects and I can change the reading order. So exposing all of the accessibility tools right on one tab makes it really easy to make your presentations more accessible. The fifth new feature is the addition of cartoon people to PowerPoint icons. I'm gonna to go to the insert menu and I'm gonna choose icons. There's a new tab here right there, cartoon people. Let's click on that. There's a bunch of really interesting types of cartoon people that you can now add into your PowerPoint. You can filter on half characters, on heads, faces, upper body, full body, all sorts of great stuff, even scenes. So there's a huge amount of cartoon people and characters that you can have into your PowerPoint. So maybe I'm gonna scroll down here and find someone that I like. That guy looks pretty cool, let's insert him. Hey, how's it going? If you want to keep up with all the latest Microsoft updates and tips and tricks, subscribe to my channel and then just ring the bell so you get all the latest videos that I post.